videos on Instagram recently where people are showing how to use Photoshop to do head swaps and that kind of thing. And I don't know why, but people are going about it in all kinds of weird and wonderful ways. And it's pretty quick if you already have uh, two pictures where one uh, on one picture, the, the person that you want to have their eyes open does have their eyes open. In this case, this was an uh, impromptu photograph of the, the parents during the wedding. After they'd signed the register, they said, oh, can we, can we have a picture of all the parents? I wasn't quite ready for it, but uh, the lighting was rubbish, so please just take that with a pinch of salt. But uh, these are the two pictures. One uh, image, this lady has her eyes closed. Another image, this lady has her eyes closed. So I'm going to merge those two together in Photoshop. So all you need to do is right-click on there, edit in, go to edit in Photoshop. So here are the images in Photoshop. There's, as you can see, the, the eyes closed there and... On this one sorry just going back just to make sure the images were both uh, the same in terms of the settings and the white balance I just uh, pressed sync on those two images and checked all synchronize so that they're gonna look the same when they are in Photoshop and you're moving images around so very simply and very quickly all you need to do is hold on the move tool drag hold down command and shift as you let go and it should plonk itself right on top of there you need to go to the layers panel which is here highlight both layers using command and click so both layers are highlighted edit and then auto align layers just go with the auto one here and those layers are aligned so you can see it should be relatively easy just to erase over the top layer and open the eyes of the person with their eyes shut. So I'm just going to make that brush bigger using the square bracket key. I'm going to just click here. And that is it. And I'm not even going to flatten it. I'm just going to go to close. Do you want to save? Yes. I want to save. And then when I go back into Lightroom, that image should replace itself with the edited one. And all I need to do is a little crop. And that is that.